Hi, and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson, we're going to make this table look a little bit better. We're going to spruce it up a bit. So I'm going to select the visualization. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the style. So I, I think it looks better if it's minimal. So these are the different styles that are on offer here. Some of them are just hideous, but um, these are the ones that come out of the box. But this minimal one is, is quite good because it just basically removes that alternative light in increases the padding and just makes it a little bit easier to read in my opinion. The other thing I'm going to do, I've decided I'm going to get rid of this one at the top here. I don't think we try to reduce the amount of data as possible that we're displaying. So let's go back into the scranking and let's uncheck this show items with no data. So we'll only get to see the items that have got data related to them in the table, which is fine. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add some conditional formatting. So I'm going to go back into the format options here. I'm going to go into conditional formatting and I'm going to go and switch on this background color. And what I want to do is I want to add some conditional formatting to, in fact, let's cancel that for just now. I want to add for each one of these, this the, the color that they are in this um, these squares here, in this matrix here. And it just draws us nicely to see which of these risk rankings make up the red, the yellow, and the green groupings in here. So let's go and switch that on. And we're going to use rules. And now we don't want to use the count of risk ranking. We want to use something like the max or the sum. The sum is fine. Because in essence, what it's doing is it's looking in here and it's saying, well, what is the count of this risk ranking? In this context here, well, it's one, and that'll be one, and that'll be one. We want it to be the, the sum or the average, which would be 20, um, 16, 15, etc. So we'll go in and we'll select this risk ranking value here. Yep, that's it now. Then we want to start building it up. So if you remember from the previous rules, anything above uh, 15, let's just double check this. Yeah, so 15 is going to be the three, uh, yeah, 15, 20, 25. That's the ones we want. So anything above 15 and below 25 is going to go in here. So is greater than or equal to 15. And then that's a number. And less than or equal to 25. It's got less than or equal to, remember, put that in, number. And it's going to be this value here. So let's just check out what works before we move on. Yep, here we go. Perfect. So let's go and add it in for the other ones. So we're going to add a new rule. And this one here is going to be if the value is greater than, no, what's a lower value here? I just need to remember what it is. Greater than 5. That's right. And then that are less than 15, so it's less than 15, not less than or equal to, then we're going to use the yellow colour. Um, right, I'll go and get that yellow colour. So the colour codes are in the presentation that you can go and find um, with this. And then we'll go for the green, which is going to be add a new rule. And that's going to be is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 5. Or less than five, and that's going to be the green color. Let's add that in custom color, and this is going to be that green color. And here we have it. Okay, so the values are there, they were quite meant to go back so far. Um, and we can see that we've got all the rules set up here. And this is this custom um, rule builder is perfectly adequate for this example here. And it ties nicely to, to, to together. So you can see there's the two values here, the two values there. There's the four, the one, and the 19, four, one, and 19. Um, so yeah, I think it, again, it's using quite a bit of color, but I think it is necessary here just to tie each of these together. So you can see nicely where the groupings are. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, again, in conditional formatting, is we want to go and add in some indicators here, some visual indicators, some bars. So I'm going to create a little bit of space here. And we're going to go and scroll down to the difference. I'm going to add in at the difference. So we'll go into 
difference and it's going to ask us for data bars so we'll switch that on now as a default that looks okay um, but we'll, we'll, I want to make it a little subtler I don't want it to be blue I want it to make it a little bit of a subtler color so we're going to go in um, show bars only no I'd like to see the value I think there is value in showing it positive bars right so the positive bars we want to be grey and the negative bars we want to be grey we're just going to use the same colour for each one of these in terms of an axis I'm going to keep the axis nice and neutral so we're going to use white for that and the bar direction is left to right so let's see what that does right okay so this is basically telling us that these values here are reduced and these values here have increased now I would normally like to see um, this colours changing somewhat just so, then it, so it doesn't go over the top of these but it's just the nature of this type of visualisation um, but I think it just gives you a nice little visual indicator to say well all of these are going down and all of these are going up and that's generally speaking a good, a good thing if we want to reduce the overall risk okay so uh, finally I think the only last thing we've got to do here is add in a title so let's activate the title here and we'll call this Risk Ranking Pre versus Post Difference. Okay, so titles are the same, same size, on the same level, all looks to be aligned. Great. Okay, thanks for, for listening. In this video, we have now created our pre and post risk ranking matrix so we can see the difference between the both of them and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a table underneath it's going to be exactly the same as this more or less but just showing the aggregated groups i'll talk to you then